video, we are going to see an example. First of all, let's look at the example. Which is the industrial example 12. A main motor and its lubrication pump are both running. Lubrication for main motor bearing is required during motor coaches down. After the main motor is shut off, the lubricant pump remains on for a time corresponding to coast down time. The lubricant pump remains on for 20 seconds after the system is shut down. Now let's head over to the open PLC editor and construct the letter diagram for the given example. Okay, so here we are. Now I'm going to press Ctrl N to create a new project and then I will press on to the create a new folder and I'm going to name the folder as Mr. Example and 12. I will select the folder. Again, I will change the language to like background and I will press OK. Now I'll start with the power rails on the both sides. First of all, I will add the power rail. On the left side and then I'm going to add the power rail on the right side and now I need to create or add the variables my first variable will be the start button type will be boolean of course and then the stop my another variable will be memory bit zero and one then its main motor main motor and then lubricating pump okay okay I guess we are now good to go First of all, I'm going to add a contact here, which is the start Then I'm going to add the stop and CDs with the start of course, then on the right side I'm going to add a coil which is memory bit zero. Then I'm going to let the memory bit zero impeller will start so that it may become the push button, of course. We just Connect the pins of the first rung here. My last pin, okay. Now on to the second rung. Okay, 
our latch the memory page zero as normally open contact and then I need the main motor which I will adjust size 10 I'm going to add another coil which is going to be the lubricated pump or lubricating pump Now I need another contact, which is the start, and then another contact, which is the M1, and negate it. So after adjusting the size, I'm going to connect the pins of the second rung and for my third rung first of all I'm going to add the memory bit zero and in series the main motor then I need a block from the standard function blocks which is going to be the T off I'll increase the size After, I will connect the pins and add a coil. Now, I'm going to join these pins here. And for last, I need to add a variable. for 20 seconds which is going to be the preset time now this should work properly I'm going to start the simulation The simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses here. We just drag this up. And show you the main motor and the lubricating pump. As you can see, both of the main motor and the pump are false now when i start now i had forgotten to keep the m1 coil as Negate it. Now let me start again the simulation and force the start to true. Now, as you can see, the main motor and the lubricative pump both are on at the same time. At the same time now. And after 
when I stop the main motor the lubricant pump should be true for like 20 seconds now as you can see that the T off is showing the elapsed time about 16, 17, 18, 19 and after 20 the pump will be off and by stop you can shut down the whole thing as you push the start button the whole thing is going to be true and when I can push the start button only the main motor is going to be false and the lubricant pump will be false after the preset time which is 20 seconds Thank you for watching this video.